Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up Don's Goldfish Booby. Now, since we're actually filming with this pattern, we've made, of course, a few modifications to the fly, so make sure you have these materials ready before you tie. For the hook, we'll use a Mustad R50 size 8 dry fly hook. We'll use some yellow fluoro bright for the thread, some 6 millimeter yellow round foam for the eyes, some UV2 yellow rabbit for the tail, some fluoro yellow straggle string for the body, and some UV2 fire tiger rabbit for the wing. So as always, start the fly. We're gonna put on our thread, just get a little base layer laid down where you're gonna put your eyes. Now take some yellow foam eyes, and usually you can get, uh, you can get two out of this one. So an easy way is even just start, cut your foam right in half. Just cut it in half. And that'll make two sets. So take your foam eyes, lay them halfway, and pull quite tight on the first wrap. And then figure eight back and forth to tie in your eyes. So now that we have the eyes tied in, I've taken a small clump of my yellow rabbit and I make it about as long as the body. So I'll measure it up about as long as the body, bring it back and then tie in. And I like to form a, a little bit of a, a body on this too. It helps it bulk it up a little bit and make sure you go around your tail once for sure. Always go around the tail once. Now that we have the tail tied in, I'm going to take some of my straggle and I'm just going to tie it in and wrap it nicely, finish up by your eyes and then start wrapping up the body. And as I wrap it, just continually wrap over it. I like a nice full straggle body on this. Now that we have the body tied in, I've taken some of my fire tagger rabbit and it's got the real nice color. It's got the orange with the black bard and I find this has been a very, very good substitute for the orange marabou. I'm going to go back about halfway as long as my tail. We don't want it quite as long, but about halfway down the tail. And then just measure up. If you have excess there, just cut it off. Measure again, go about halfway down the tail and tie in behind your eyes and then wrap over your eyes once again to finish off. Now that we have the wing tied in, of course I'm going to take my whip finisher and move in front of the eyes and whip finish in front there and just form a nice little, nice little yellow head on the fly. Just a few whip finishes and cut off your thread and then what we'll do is trim the eyes. So to finish the fly off, all I'm going to do is leave the fly. You can take it out of the vise, but I'll leave it in for ease so everybody can see it. And we're just going to trim off those sharp edges. Just trim off the sharp edges on the foam just to kind of round the eyes slightly. And they do offer rounded eyes you can actually buy, but I like these ones. So there it is, the finished goldfish booby. You know, we found this fly worked excellent on Dragon Lake where there are goldfish present, but it also works very good as a small bait fish imitator. Make sure you have some in your box because they can be deadly.